Okay, so, so does anyone have any questions or thoughts or ideas about sort of data organization, um, thinking through data organization? Okay, all right, well hopefully we can, we can put some of this into practice. Um, what we're gonna do now is I have some sample data from the Huron River Watershed Council. Um, and maybe, do, do you wanna sort of just talk a little bit for a minute about, um, James is, is one of the data ambassadors to the HRWC. And so I'll let him sort of explain. Hi, I'm James. Um, like Justin said, I'm one of the data ambassadors for the uh, Huron River Watershed Council project. Um, also, President uh, Trevor and uh, Khan, both of whom work with uh, me as well. Um, Shajang is not here today, he had a uh, meeting to go to. Um, just to briefly introduce what the HRWC is doing. Um, they, let's see, if you guys, uh, since I have on the screen, well, you'll get one of these, we'll get a little bit closer later. Um, for everyone who's not native to Ann Arbor, the Huron River is um, kind of the main river that runs, runs through town. Um, like through Argo Pond and Gallup Park and then down. Um, it sort of ends up going down past like Ipsy and Dearborn and into uh, Lake Erie. Um, <clears throat> but what's interesting about it, if you, as you uh, look at this map, is that the Huron River pretty much covers what we consider the Detroit metro or the uh, southeastern Michigan metro area. So the Huron River Watershed Council basically um, is concerned with the environmental health of that, uh, the whole watershed in general. Um, and so what they've done is basically divided the entire area up into a variety of fire reserve sites um, about which they're in the process of collecting a wide variety of ecological data. Um, we won't get this far into their database today, but I mean, if you dig deep enough into it, you can get information such as, you know, specific um, flora and fauna that live in any given area. Um, and it's all divided up based upon um, bio reserve sites. Um, which are established kind of arbitrarily, and also by um, who owns the land um, and the plots is defined by uh, real estate. Anything else? Anything no, I think, I think that's good. So, right. so what we would like you all to do is to, if you split up into groups of, I don't know, maybe four or five, um, and look over the data that I gave you purposefully, there's not a lot of documentation with the data. They actually were pretty good about documenting theirs. They had a fair bit of documentation, but I think there's a good chance that you might get either outdated documentation or little documentation when someone shows you a database, especially if it's something that someone else made for them. 